peace, greetings, shalom, and namaste to all peoples. I hope everybody is good out there. So today, family, uh, I want to talk to you about gut health a minute. I'm going to do that with you. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Uh, shout out Kenzie for giving feedback on the last video. Uh, we'll make that adjustment and get right on that in this episode. Now, the new science is out, and while I've been at this a while, we know that leaky gut to be the root cause of most illnesses and autoimmune diseases that doctors can't explain. And this is why I'm here, and I want to discuss it with the family. Now, you'll see a bunch of conditions appear on screen, and you may have one or be headed toward getting one. So, we got to talk shit today, my family. Now, the first step in this process is to get a hold of your digestion. Now, many people are constipated and don't know how to even move their bowels, but not to worry. This is um, how you do that right here. Now, the following teas may have laxative or muscle relaxing effects that help to relieve constipation and encourage bowel movements. Senna, peppermint tea, ginger, dandelion, black tea, green tea, or coffee, licorice root, marshmallow root, and chamomile. Now, if you're feeling run down, this is the reason why. Waste toxins backed up in your system. Now, constipation is very real for some, while others have a slow sluggish system but these herbs in the tea will fix all of that now if you're in a hurry and you want to start today dokalax i can rep recommend but i don't advise but it will work now if you continue to eat unhealthy this process won't work for you <laughs> now my suggestions are is to eat half as much and incorporate fruits and veggies you will begin to master your movements and be ready to go anywhere. The problem is, is in the food that we've been consuming. It causes bad bacteria in your gut and this bacteria eats away at the lining of your gastro system, causing little rips and tears to your abdominal tract. This allows waste toxins to invade your body and your bloodstream. Now, adding probiotics to your diet goes into the stomach and defeats bad bacteria with good ones. Hey! Now, some of the conditions that I spoke about earlier uh, we'll go over some of those. Um, weight gain, brain fog, difficulty concentrating, anxiety, depression, asthma. Um, in fact, the symptoms of leaky gut are so vast, they can literally be anything from recurring infections, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, eczema, airborne allergies, chronic fatigue, just to name a few. Now the top six triggers of leaky gut are refined sugar, dairy products, gluten in your food, medications, environmental toxins, and infections. And what should our food look like? So once you've controlled your digestion and you're moving properly, you're well on your way to healing your gut. Now, besides the teas, simple exercises will help you with timely elimination. I never eat anything until I eliminate first, and I start with probiotics. I use three probiotic foods, yogurt, sauerkraut, and kombucha. Now, I usually start with my spicy nar-nar sauerkraut, followed by a small bowl um, of yogurt which is nasty. And I use monk fruit in it. 
uh, to make it taste better. Monk fruit's a lifesaver uh, for a lot of uh, the health food products that I use. Now, it is very important to eat, uh, to take your probiotics on an empty stomach, which is why digestion is so important. Uh, and once you add probiotics, uh, digestion gets even better, family. Then to round out my breakfast, I'll take a kombucha drink. Now, these two brands have the least amount of sugar, as you can see, and I've searched every brand. Now, if you get the Kavita brand, only drink their cider vinegar kombuchas. All of the other ones have 18 grams and added sugar. Now, the root beer drink that I have is really good. And all I drink besides water and smoothies is kombucha. Treating your stomach this way for a few months, going to eliminate will be a breeze. Your energy will return, your clothes will start to sag, and forget about doing extreme exercises, family, because these few steps in addition to your diet is ground zero for health because it impacts your energy system. Now, it is extremely important to not eat before elimination, as this covers the intermittent fasting required to burn deep fat. That's it family, we on to the next one. Kaylin, where you at? Kaylin. Where you at? I need to speak to you. Oh, there you are. What's up, man? Hey, listen, man. I got a question. Can I'm going to call you. I'm going inside. to you.